Hey there and welcome. My name is Jenny and I am Coach Brightside. And in this video, I want to share with you how we got our four-year-old to take her antibiotics. Now, just recently in the last three, I guess it would have been three weeks ago, Leilani, our four-year-old, got strep throat. And we did not expect it. Um, I thought maybe it was just like the pollen. I didn't expect it to actually be strep. Um, because she's so young, but my mom says that I was young when I got it too. So I thought maybe it was just the pollen. Maybe it was just dry air in the house from the heat running from the cold air. Um, lots of different thoughts ran through my mind. So, oh, my co making a mess with his fruit loops. So, um, <clears throat> when they said, okay, it is strep, we're going to give her some amoxicillin. I was like, oh, cool, no problem. That'll be easy because it's delicious. It's pink. It's her favorite color. It's... He just threw Fruit Loops at me. It's bubblegum flavor. He is going to, she's going to love it. Well, that's not how it worked out. The first dose, now with antibiotics, you have to take it three times a day for 10 days. You have to take the full course of it in order for it to kill off the infection, the bacterial whatever it is in there, the bacteria that caused it. Here, eat your puffs, boy. Um, so the first time she took it was no problem, easy peasy. She did it. The next time, that was at night, like at bedtime. The next time we got tried to get her to take it, she would not do it. She um, gagged because she was holding it in her mouth and it ended up making her throw up. So then, of course, she just was thinking that um, – she was associating the medicine with making her throw up. So she didn't want to take it. It was just a battle. And it was almost to the point of um, having to hold her down to drink, to take it. But you never, ever want to do that because you're going to traumatize them to medication. And it's just going to cause problems as they get older. So I called the doctor. I knew there was a shot available. And I was going to see if we needed to bring her in for the shot. Um, and what she suggested was the chewable. Um, this was such a long night that it happened because I had to call the nurse on call. It was like 11 o'clock at night. We'd already been trying for an hour. Uh-uh. No, we'd already been trying for an hour to get to her to take the medicine. I called the nurse on call. She called the doctor. The doctor called me. You could tell the doctor woke up. She said there was a chewable available, which we'd found online. The nurse on call didn't know it even existed. The doctor did. She didn't know if the pharmacy even carried that. What is this? I've had a long day. Y'all can tell by these Fruit Loops he keeps chucking at my face that I've had a long day. So anyway, she said, well, let me call the pharmacy and we'll even see if they have it. I don't know if that's something that they will have. <clears throat> so I didn't hear anything back for over an hour. It was almost 2 o'clock. Thank goodness it was a 24-hour pharmacy. And um, I said, you know, I don't know if the doctor even called it in. I haven't heard anything back. He said, oh, yeah, it's been ready. So we went and picked it up. We got it, and the pills were huge. It was either a 400 or 500 milligram pill. I'm talking like it was the size of this Fruit Loop. It was a very large pill, and there's no flavor to it. To um, Babe, can you get him to get her – like to take ibuprofen or like a fever reducer is no problem. She won't take the liquid, but she'll do the chewable and it has a flavor. Um, if we need to give her a small dose of children's melatonin, it's got a flavor and it's no problem. She'll take a chewable, but this had no flavor and it was like almost impossible to convince her to take it. Um, but she tried it. And when he, when I said, what does it taste like? She said white. So I don't know what that means, but it tasted like nothing. It was just medicine. So the first few days of getting her to take it were a chore. But this little system worked. And I don't know if it was her age. I don't know if it was her personality. I don't know if this would work for all children. But it worked for mine. So I made a grid. Um, the first time I made the grid was for the pink amoxicillin, the liquid. Then I had to redo it once we got the chewables. Um, and she was supposed to do four times a day, which I'm realizing now we didn't accommodate for the fourth day. Did you realize I didn't draw a fourth column? 
I never thought of that. But anyway. Oh, I was four times a day. She was three times a day. Okay. Oh, the liquid was two times a day? Yeah. Okay, so c correction. The pink was twice a day. The chewables are three times a day. So I made this little chart. And every day I had this huge stack of pretty little stickers. And every day she got to choose whichever sticker she wanted and she got to put it on the chart. And that was something that was just so exciting for her. It was like a goal to get through. We didn't finish it because we went out of town. Uh, we were out of town while she finished it. So we didn't get to finish the stickers. She kind of lost interest while we were gone. But <clears throat> this was such a great way to get her to want to take it because we built up hype about, okay, which ones are you going to choose today? Which stickers are you going to pick? Okay, where are you going to put it? Which is, um, which is this pill? Which is this pill? And it was just perfect for her. Um, like I said, I don't know that that would work for all ages, for all personalities. Maybe your child doesn't care about stickers and charts, but that was the only way we could get her to take it. We bribed her with stuff. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Sometimes she would take it within 30 seconds. Sometimes she would hold it in her hand and refuse to take it for a few minutes. So I think it was all just like incidental type stuff, but this really helped. This, this sticker chart was a dream. So if you're having a hard time getting your child to take any sort of medication, don't be afraid to ask for a chewable. That's number one. And number two, make it fun. Make the action itself rewarding make sure that they know that this is going to do good for you we're not doing this to be mean and let them do something fun associated with it maybe give them um, coins every time they do it or um, if they fill their chart they get to go get a prize or something make it fun so if your child is giving you a hard time i hope this video gives you a little bit of reassurance that you're not alone in the world that we are out there we us moms out there have crazy children too so I'm so glad that the, that part is over because it was a nightmare until we figured out the chewable situation. But I appreciate you guys watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I am an open book. And as always, be bright, my friends. I love you. Have a great day. Bye.